about yourself that you're beautiful that you are worthy that you can do this that you deserve to be here if not stop this video <laughs> go ahead go to the bathroom <laughs> look in that mirror and then come back and then we can get started okay so this video we're going to be talking to you guys about everything that has to do with recommendation letters so in terms of asking, in terms of submitting, um, ways that you can submit, just mm -hmm. everything, recommendations. Everything, letters, letters of <clears throat> So um, I did the committee letters. So I was able to submit, with the committee letters, you're able to submit six recommendation letters, I think. And so I basically, that includes like two, two professors, two doctors, um, your volunteer coordinator, and then your health professions counselor. So that's what I did. Um, I had my biochem professor from junior year, so she could vouch for like my later achievements and mm -hmm. like my progress through that class. Um, I had my um, faculty for the research that I was doing, and that was senior year, so he vouched for like you know my later journey mm -hmm. in undergrad and what I was doing with that. And then I had um, another professor who she was she taught me for like a research class freshman year, but mm -hmm. she was also involved in this program that I was. So she literally saw me every year, my whole four years. Mm -hmm. I would go into her office and talk to her, update her. So she could vouch for me from day one to the end. So it's good to have people who can vouch for you at different stages That's in true. your um, career in undergrad. So I would try to get somebody from like, who's known you since freshman year, somebody who's known you like halfway through, and then someone who knows you like at the end yeah so they can kind of get that whole glimpse of who you are yeah. as a person and how like you've grown throughout your journey so if there's like <laughs> something we say that you're like eh, i don't know if that's right mm -hmm. go check on the double a m c website and everything should be there but i'm pretty sure you have to have at least i think at least two minimum but it might be three minimum now because i know they change it all the time mm -hmm. um, but yeah i'm pretty sure two have to be from a science professor and that's for texas the tim das um, application mm -hmm. process you know that. Yeah, for AMCAS, um, there's like a limit that you can have on letters of rec because they don't want too many. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if it's specific as like, you know, you need one from a science professor, one <coughs> from a non-science professor. Like that varies sometimes per school, especially mm -hmm. for AMCAS. So definitely check if there's like a school that you're really interested in going. Check to see all of their requirements and mm -hmm. clarifications because it can be different from another school because yeah. all the schools are not the same. That's very true. So um, in terms of asking for a recommendation letter, so I know that a lot of people are very intimidated by doctors, professors. Yeah. It's intimidating to just ask somebody like, do you find me worthy enough to like write a recommendation letter? Because some people will say no. Because uh -huh. if, if you did not have a good rapport with that, with that person, you were late every time you had to show up to places, you didn't respond to emails, you were unprofessional, they're going to tell you no. And why are you, gonna, why are you asking them anyway? That's the number one thing. I forgot who told me this, but don't ask a professor who you don't know what they're going to say in that letter of recommendation. Sure. If you're not sure if they're going to they're gonna give you a good uh, letter of rec or a, a, a iffy one, mm -hmm. like you don't want to take that chance. Mm -hmm. So make sure you ask people who you know for sure. Yeah. And even when you ask them, like in the email, when you're typing it up in the format, include will you be willing to write me a good letter of recommendation? Not just a letter yeah. of recommendation, but like a good, excellent, like mm -hmm. put be specific because letters of rec can make or break you. Right. So in our, what was it? It was the how did we get into medical school video in our GPA video. Um, we talked about going to your professor's office hour. This is why it's This so is important. why you should go. Because they need to know who you are. They need to know that you have a good work ethic and that you did try hard. Even if you did work, some people... Even if you were a B student, if they sh if you had an improvement from like a C to a B over like the course of a few tests, some professors will be like, "This is a great hardworking student." Da -da -da -da. Like they will be willing to write a recommendation letter for you. Now, if you got a C in the class, I don't think I would. I wouldn't recommend that you ask a professor. Honestly, I wouldn't ask for a letter of rec from a professor unless you got an A in that class mm -hmm. or unless, like, you really showed improvement. Yeah. Um, ask them early because yeah. professors are busy. They have mm -hmm. other things to they do. They have busy. other letters to write for other people. That's very true. So ask them. Um, so application cycle begins yeah. May. I would ask them in January. No, honestly. At least just type up the email, send it to them, be like, hey, I'm applying to medical school this cycle. I was wondering if you're interested in writing me a good letter of recommendation. Um, if you are, please contact me. You know, like just mm -hmm. email them early, get a response, and then 
um for all for all three of mine the ones that i asked for i met with them personally yeah. so they'll probably have you meet with them in person just mm-hmm. so they can remember your face if they haven't seen you in a while or just like ask you a few questions clarifications um a lot of them will also ask you to send them their your cv mm-hmm. or your resume so they can like include some of those things in your letter of rec um, and all those things are good like you want a person who's going to ask you for those things yeah. because they don't know everything that you did mm-hmm. unless you're really like that close right. to that person right. but i mean you're not going to always be that close with all mm-hmm. the people you ask so if they ask for all that stuff that's good but just like she said apply um ask them early yes because they will forget they too. will forget so remind them <laughs> like y'all no you have to remind them because literally you'll be like okay well i wanted to send them my yeah. application like tomorrow but i haven't received mm-hmm. my letter right yet you have to stay on top of them because they're busy like they have a lot of stuff to they do get a lot of emails. so make sure you stay on top of them and then actually what i did when i emailed them um and we like talked and met up they i gave them a date that i wanted to submit my mm-hmm. application and i actually gave it a date that was actually before Early, the day yeah. i yep, actually wanted same. to submit just to same. make sure so i would suggest asking um definitely you have to have a sign at least one science professor mm-hmm. i think two probably i think yeah mm-hmm. two science professors um a doctor a professor in a non-science class maybe if you work your supervisor yeah. Um, maybe like a pastor yeah. or somebody you had your volunteer coordinator mm-hmm. yeah so I, like I said in the other video I had a very strong relationship with my volunteer coordinator and she was she even offered to write before I even asked her she said if you need anything like red letters let me know like you want people who are willing to help you and um, help you achieve those goals those long term goals that you have because obviously they know that um, your position there is not going to be long term mm-hmm. but they know that they're a stepping stone to that yeah. long term goal that you want to achieve so have people in your corner that support you and I feel like that was what really helped me get into medical school because yes I had a strong application but people were actually able to back me up with that information so Uh, so how to submit your application so you submitted your I mean your letters are right so you submitted yours differently Mm -hmm. through the committee yeah the committee letter so I literally handed my all my right letters to my health professions office and they handled it for me I have no idea (laughs) What happened after that? She basically was like, whoever writes your recommendation letters, have them send this to my office, and I will write your, your like overall recommendation letter, and then we'll send it off for you on your behalf. So it was very, very easy for me, because I knew that I had a lot of people that I wanted to write my letters of rec- recommendation, so um, I just did the committee packet. So, so how many did you end up having? Like six. Dang. Yeah. That's a lot. It's <laughs> a lot of rec letters. And I was like, I mean, you can't hurt. Thank so you. let me just try. Some so schools do have like a maximum though, so yeah. check that out. Because I know like for some like uh, out of state schools, mm-hmm. if you're not in Texas, like some of them have like a, a max of like four or like yeah. five. So just check, mm-hmm. you never know. But you know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. But yeah, so for me, I um I actually had to pay <laughs> to send mine. Mm-hmm. So I used um Interfolio. Um, you can Google it. I use that to send off my letters direct. So you know you can look at them. I mean they have the option to look at them, but you you know. No, don't do that. Yeah, like, don't do that. Don't, you don't look at your letters. <laughs> That's like, like an ethics violation. Yeah, don't look at them. They have the option to where you can like yeah. view them, but don't do that because they can see that you did that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, your application will be void. <laughs> so <laughs> don't do that. But yeah, so um, basically, you just set it up. Um, you send the link to the professor, whoever that is that's writing your letter of rec. They enter, they send the letter of rec with that link that you send them, and then you get the notification. And then once you get that notification, then you can send it to AMCAS or to, uh, to the um, Texas application um, program. So it's really simple. I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't expensive. Mm-hmm. But you do have to pay for it, so just keep that in mind. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it's really simple. You just send them links. And then they'll send it back to you, and then you just send it off. But yeah, but there's more um, detailed information on the Double AMC website, so go there and check it out. And they have like step by step of how you do it, and like more information if you're confused or you don't yeah. know how it works. We'll put the link in the info box um, below. Of course. So, but yeah, yeah, is that it? Yeah, that's it. So um, ask early, choose your professors wisely, mm-hmm. and good luck yeah. on that. And make sure they can vouch for you. <laughs> yes, in a good way. <laughs> Like, ask for that is so for important. <laughs> ask if you don't take away anything from this video. Ask for a good letter of recommendation. Great, great, excellent, exceptional. <laughs> Out of this world. <laughs> you literally want them to praise you. Yeah. Like that's what you want in a letter of That's very. But true. yeah. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We know it's short, but hopefully it was very helpful for you. So as you guys know, we have a giveaway. <laughs> we have a 
have a giveaway going on. Yeah. And it's going to be continuous throughout the summer because we actually have like a lot of goodies for you guys, mm-hmm. a lot of donations. So, again, thank you to those who donated. So, we have this ongoing giveaway. All the descriptions all and the all the rules and stuff will be in the description box below. So, yes. check that out. And our social Enter. medias will have that as well. Exactly. Also, um, for those of you who don't know, the resources that we're providing for you guys is Kaplan, Princeton, Exam Crackers, Flashcards, all of these things. They are used, they are highlighted, and they do have notes in them from past users. All this stuff is in the uh, description box below. Mm-hmm. If you have any other questions or comments, of course, just leave those for mm-hmm. us in the comment section. Um, drop a gem, some yes. encouragement from somebody else. Yes. If you have any questions, mm-hmm. advice, need somebody to talk to, anything, you know we're always here for you guys. Yes. Just DM us on Instagram, Twitter, message us on Facebook, email us. We have so many different platforms that we can reach you guys at. So, yes. yeah. so thanks guys for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you in our next one.